I am Curtis Winters with fingeringcharts.org. I'm going to show you how to use the stepwise clarinet fingering chart. It looks like this. And you can see it's a little different from the standard, from a typical clarinet fingering chart. Uh, one reason why is it all fits onto one page. And that's very convenient. You can put it on your music stand if you're in band class uh, to, to refer to notes. Um, or you can just find everything conveniently right here. Now, another thing that's different about it is that it shows uh, two different notes uh, with the same fingering. The clarinet acts like a lot of other instruments where you add a thumb key, the, in the woodwind instruments that is, you add a thumb key and it goes higher. It plays a different note up higher. On clarinet, that thumb key is called the register key. And you'll see here, if there's two different notes, then to play the higher note, you simply add the register key. And for the lower note, uh, no register key. So let's take a look at one of these notes uh, that might be the most one of the most common notes, and that's going to be over here, the C. One of the first notes you probably learn on clarinet. The C has the lower thumb key. Now the register key that takes you higher, that's the higher thumb key up there, that longer skinny one. This round hole, a thumb key you're going to use a lot. Almost every note has that thumb key down. So you have the thumb and the first three fingers. Whenever a uh, a key is blackened like this, that means you press the key down. So this is going to have thumb and three fingers like this, thumb, one, two, three. And that will play a C. Or if you add the register key, it'll play a high G. Now without the thumb key, without the register key pressed down, you're playing in what's called the Shalomo, Shalomo register. And so that's why this here says Shalomo. But when you do add the register key, you're playing in the higher register of the clarinet called the Clarion register. So let me show you what that looks like on a clarinet, minus the uh, mouthpiece, of course. I'm not going to be playing for you, just showing you. So there's the thumb keys in the back. We have the round one and the long skinny one. So this thumb key is used for most of the notes in the clarinet. So I'm going to add the thumb key, and then we have here one, two, three. See that third one? It's just a black hole, no ring around it. So one, two, three, that will play you a C. Or if you add the register key, which you don't, you don't, you can't hop up to it. You just have to rock your finger because you have to keep covering that round hole. And then you rock up and add the register key, and it will pop up to a high G like this: C, G, C, G. Now it's hard for beginners to do because often, as you rock your thumb up to do that, you'll also accidentally hit these keys right here, or you'll you'll uncover one of the holes as you're reaching for this. So you got to be careful just to keep all the holes covered and let nothing else move but the thumb to just rock up there and, and add that register key there. So let's say you come across a note you've never seen before. And this is where a fingering chart is very helpful. So let's say you come across this note. Oh, how about, how about uh, this one right there? That's, uh, it looks like that's on the bottom line, has a flat in front of it, and that one's called E flat. So there's two ways to play E flat. There's the most common way right here, which is the thumb finger, the thumb key, and then two fingers, and then you add this bottom little side key over there. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So thumb, two fingers, and the side key. But there's an alternate way to play E flat, and that is like this right here. Can you see that one? So here's those side keys on the clarinet that we use to play E flat and a couple other notes up there. So to play low E flat, we have thumb, one, two, and the bottom side key right there, that will play an E flat. Now to keep this fingering chart really clean and easy to read, I did not include all the enharmonics, but there is an enharmonic chart down here. So let's say you come across a D flat in your music, and you say, wait, there's no D flat anywhere on here. Well, then you refer to this little piano keyboard down here and see that, uh, that D flat is the same note as C sharp. It sounds the same, it just has a different name. So D flat and C sharp are the same black key on a piano, and they're also the same note on a clarinet. So you see a D flat, so you're going to find a C sharp. Maybe it's this high C sharp up there on the fourth sp third space up, or it might be this C sharp right there below the staff. So you can download this clarinet fingering chart from fingeringcharts.org, totally free. Just find the clarinet page there, and it's a convenient PDF, high quality graphics. You can print it off, copy it off, um, and keep it in your, in your case or in your music folder. Now also at fingeringcharts.org you can get these flashcards which are really convenient if you're trying to study and memorize and, and develop a quick recall of what the fingerings are for any note. So uh, in this case you might see a note like this. What is that? That's a G sharp. If you don't know you look back here of course shows it's G sharp and 
That is a note that uses all six fingers, plus the thumb of course, and this pinky key up there. Now, I refer to the pinky keys on clarinet like this. Uh, I call uh, for every pinky key with the right pinky, you're going to reach or you're going to pull back. You reach or pull, and then it's up or down, up or down. So in this case, you're going to reach up for this G sharp key, reach up. Some keys you're going to pull up, some keys you're going to reach down, uh, uh, or sorry, reach down or pull down. So you have reach up, pull up, reach down, pull down. Those are the four pinky keys on a clarinet with the right hand. And the left hand pinky key is a little more uh, challenging to name, but you can see there are also four of them. And the uh, stepwise clarinet fingering chart has a handy pinky key reference here. If you're in the lower shallow register, then your, uh, your higher four pinky keys, well, it only shows three because the fourth key is really not part of these low note pinky keys. See, the low note pinky keys are all for these lowest notes here. That fourth pinky key on the left hand is only used for this note um, right here. And so it's kind of a different part of the instrument, so I didn't include it on this pinky key chart. But you can see there that for the shallow register, there's the pinky keys of the left hand, and there's the right hand pinky keys, and then on the clarion register, of course, there are different notes, but that, that shows what they are there. Ha! Huh, I think I've now covered all the stuff about the clarinet. So you can buy these uh, flashcards as a hard copy on fingeringcharts.org. You can also buy them as a PDF download for cheaper, where you just print them at home and cut them out. And it's a very convenient way for your parents who know nothing about music to help you conquer and master and get fast at knowing all the notes on your clarinet. Now, if you're a music teacher, then also at fingeringcharts.org you can find this right here. What the heck is this? This is uh, downloadable flashcards that you can print and copy for all of your students. So you can buy a whole set for the entire band. This is the clarinet one, for example. Uh, and uh, you can print them off. Uh, your students can cut them out. And then you can use them in class and have the students quiz each other and really conquer and master these notes. I love using these with my junior high band students. And lastly, while you're at fingeringcharts.org, you can check out my new iPad app. Do you have an iPad? This is called Ningenious Music. And it is basically a game of notes and fingerings for every instrument, every band and orchestra instrument. So you can check that out at ningenious.net or everything is available at fingeringcharts.org. Thanks for watching.